Hey everybody, in this video we're going to show you how to create a residual scatter plot after you've created a regression line or a regression curve. If you want to follow along, I've linked this spreadsheet in the comments below, but you can always go ahead and use your own spreadsheet if you'd rather. Now, in order to do this, you have to first come up with the regression line, and that video I've already posted a link, you can see that up in the upper right hand corner. So you need to have you need to be at this point first. Now once we've done that, we can get started. So what we have is we have the governor's salary for each state and what the median property value is. Now in order to create a residual, what we have to do is we have to figure out what property value does the median does the uh, trend line predict. So let's type in predicted property value. There we go. And like I said, it's important that you have this trend line showing because we need this equation right here. And so what it says is we take 1.21 times the governor's salary plus 53,236. So our trend line predicts 189,893 for Alabama. Now, for all the other states, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little point in the lower right-hand corner, and when it turns it into a T, I'm just going to click and hold it and drag it down so that it applies to all of them. And it creates a prediction for every different state. So now, now what we have to do is we have to calculate the residual. And the way we calculate the residual is we have to find the difference between the actual property value, that's this one, minus the predicted. There we go. So Alabama is has a higher than predicted property value. So it's a positive. But if I go down, I can find other states, such as Wisconsin right here, that has an actual property value that's lower than predicted. Now our residual plot, let me shrink this down because I don't need my scatter plot as much now. Our residual plot, we're going to generate by graphing the governor's salary versus the residual. So let's insert a chart. And so for my x-axis range, I'm going to add in this column. So that's going to be from B1 down to B52. And then for my Y axis, we're going to add in column E1 to E52. There we go. And we want a scatter plot, so I selected that, and there we go. And so what this shows is it shows the points that are above the trend line and versus the points that are below the trend line. And so we can see that this point has a very high residual because it's very high above the trend line, whereas this point is very low from the trend line. Now this approach can also work regardless of whether your trend is linear or any other type of function. What you would do is you would still use that formula to create a predicted value and then find the difference. And then once you find the difference, you create a scatter plot. Because in a sense, what a, what a residual plot is doing is it's taking this line and just flattening it out. Because essentially, this trend line is the x-axis right here. And then from that point of view, we're looking to see what points are above and what points are below. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have suggestions or problems you want to see worked out, type a comment below. To support the channel, click the Patreon link to help keep this going. Thanks so much for watching, and remember, the best way to understand something is to do it.